Welcome back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I'm Liz. I am really excited that you're here to join us again today. Um, it's, we've got a very fun project to do today. Today, we're going to create some music-inspired art. We're going to link our senses together. We're going to link our sense of hearing with our sense of sight. So I'm going to play some music, some different sounds, and we're going to do a, a practice listening to music. So when I first play this, I want you to close your eyes and I want you just to see what you notice. Um, how does this music make you feel? Does it make you feel upbeat and light? Does it make you feel like, oh God, you know, I need to watch out for something. I'm worried. Or, you know, does it just make you feel like jumping and dancing? So think about how it makes you feel. Um, I want you to see what colors come to your mind when you're listening to this music. Um, are there any images that come to mind when you listen to the music? Um, so I want you just to think about all these different things. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to play some music. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes and just listen and see what you notice, okay? you to think about any images that come to your mind, colors, if this music made you think of anything in particular or reminded you of something. Um, so I'm going to play it again and this time I want you to choose your coloring utensils. Um, you could get markers, crayons, chalk, pastels, um, Okay, let me let you know too, we're going to do this with two different pieces of music and we're going to see how the different ones make you feel. So if you need to pause the video now to get another piece of paper, if you only have one piece of paper, that's fine. You can do that. Um, pause it and come back. And so we'll create two different pieces of work today so that um, you can kind of see how the different sounds and different music makes you feel and what do the different sounds look like, how they look to you. So pause it, like I said, if you need to, to get you multiple pieces of paper. And when you come back, press play and we will get started. <clears throat> All right, this time you don't have to close your eyes. You're going to pick up your utensils and we are going to start working.
at your picture, you can see, just kind of notice, do are your lines and shapes straight? Are they curvy? Are they heavy or thin? So this kind of be, you can label this, um, like if you think of your feeling of upbeat, you could label this one upbeat. So this would be your upbeat drawing. All right, upbeat on here. All right, so now get your other piece of paper. You have another one. And we are going to listen to a different sound this time, some different music. And I want you to think of the same things. Um, how does this music make you feel? What images come to mind? What do you see in it? What colors are you thinking of? Um, does it make you feel like it's choppy and straight or does it feel kind of curvy and flowy? Just think about all these things for this music too. And you can go ahead and start working on this as well. When I press play, get your utensils and you can go ahead and get started on this one.
So did that one feel kind of completely different from the first one? Um, so the feelings I kind of felt in that one was confused. Like I imagine like I'm in an alleyway and I start to run this way and then it's like, oh no, I need to go this way. And then it's like, I'm so confused. I don't know which way to go. And then like, there's just like a lurking figure that keeps popping out in the corner. So this one kind of made me feel a bit confused and scared a little bit. So um, I think I'll call this one nervous. So I'll write nervous on here. So I want you to look at your two pieces of artwork and look at the colors, the shapes, the everything in your upbeat one, and then look at them compared to the colors and shapes in your nervous one or whatever you decided to name the two. So I feel like, yeah, they're completely different. The first one I felt like just movement and dancing and spinning and a little bit of jumping too, kind of like I imagine like jumping from puddle to puddle um, in rain boots or something. And so I hope that you enjoyed this project today and just kind of got some practice linking your senses together, your sense of sight with your sense of hearing. And, you know, you could do this at any point in time with, with any of your senses. You could try to link in your sight and your tasting senses. Um, if you eat an orange, what does that make you feel? What, you know, kind of what does that smell? That smell or even smells, they can make us have certain memories or think of certain things. Smells are a really big thing that we can really create a lot of visual image to. Um, but so I hope you enjoyed this project today and just had a little fun with it. And um, I know it might not be something that you just are proud of to hang up and you want to keep. If it's not, that's okay. Um, I just hope that it's, you know, more about the process than the end product for you. So I hope that you've enjoyed that today. Next week, we can come together and create our guided abstract painting. So you will need a canvas. If you don't have a canvas, you can just get like a, a piece of cardboard or a piece of foam board um, like you do on a science project. Um, do, you know, something thick like that if you don't have a canvas. Um, you can be thinking of a color palette to choose, you know. You'll need about five or six different colors. Um, do you want to have warm colors or cool colors or, you know, something with an old feel to it or, you know, a monochrome, just like five different shades of the same color. Um, so think about a color palette and we will create this abstract painting together next week. So um, come together and create. We will just bring your paints, your canvas or cardboard. You could need to have a plate or a tray, something to squirt your paint on, and, um, and a pretty thick paintbrush. So in this, we will do it together. We'll walk through it together, and I hope to you will be back next week then. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks! <laughs>